What is the ANSYS Design Modeler software? Actually, ANSYS Design Modeler software is a powerful geometry modeling software for engineering simulation. Creating design models uh, is a core part of the product development process and the first step in the simulation process, as you know. These models can be of geometry forms representing actual design details or uh, they can be approximation of the designs uh, using simplified components like beams and plates. Besides, being an essential component of engineering simulation, geometry also links engineering simulation with design and manufacturing and thereby plays a critical role in simulation-driven product development. Here you can see the a list of features in ANSYS Design Modeler software. These are geometry creation, geometry cleanup, 2D sketches to 2D or 3D models, line bodies generation, assemblies modeling, geometry modification, 2D sketch generation, CAD geometry import, surface bodies production, and parameters utility. Now let's go to open the design modeler software. Note that this software, unlike other ANSYS products, doesn't run separately and can only be opened through the workbench environment. So at first, you must open the ANSYS workbench software. Search for workbench and open it. The environment you see here is the workbench software environment. All ANSYS products that you selected to install during the initial installation of the software are in the toolbox to the left of the workbench. You can select any of them by double-clicking and then run through the workbench environment. To open the ANSYS Design Modeler software, at first uh, you must select the Geometry module. Double click on the geometry under the component systems. Also, uh, you can uh, see this module uh, in the Fluent or CFX box uh, under the analysis systems from the toolbox. By right clicking on the geometry, you can see the ANSYS Design Model software and ANSYS Space Claim software. Both of them are the softwares uh, to uh, design and create the geometry. You can choose each of them. Also, you can import the geometry from the uh, other uh, CAD softwares. This is the design modeler environment and now I want to explain you some menu and tools in this environment. At the top of the page from the file, uh, generally we can do something like uh, import and export the geometry, save the project and etc. This menu includes tools for generating 3D geometry, something like extrude, uh, revolve, sweep, and etc. We usually use the concept menu and its tools to generate edges and surfaces. The tools menu has the tools uh, which we can make the changes on the geometry with them. Under the units, you can specify the unit of length and the unit of angle. We recommend that the units be adjusted in the first step before drawing the geometry. And under the views, uh, you can set something related to the uh, views in the software environment. And uh, in the help menu, you can uh, access the software help. There is a tree outline on the left side, and gradually, as we work with the software, 
different sections of the geometry will be added to this section. Under the tree outline, you can see two tabs, Sketching and Modeling. Actually, by clicking on a Sketching, the software goes to the Sketching mode to do uh, 2D drawings. And in Modeling, uh, you can do 3D drawings. Also, under these two tabs, you can see the Details view. And in this window, uh, you can uh, see the settings uh, related to each order. Before drawing anything, we recommend to set something. From Tools, Options, and uh, in the Unit dialog box, you can choose the state for the project units. Uh, use project units or do not use project units uh, to set the uh, new units for the length and angle. There is another option in the Units dialog box, and this is the Enable Large Model Support. If you select a Yes for this option, Ansys Design Modeler can support the larger scale models. For instance, a model with kilometer sizes. Under the Common Settings, uh, in the Parallel Processing dialog box, you should set the number of processors to have the better performance uh, while working with the software. Now, I want to draw a simple geometry very quickly to explain the other parts of this chapter. How to draw two-dimensional and three-dimensional geometries is fully explained in the following chapters. And uh, this is just a simple model to explain the tools in this chapter. We use the SELECT tool to be able to select the components that are in the geometry. We have two modes for SELECT, SINGLE SELECT and BOX SELECT. The cubes you see are for point, edge, surface and volume selection respectively. You can use each of them with the SINGLE SELECT mode and BOX SELECT mode. You can also select more than one point, one edge, one surface, and one volume in single select mode. To do this, hold the control button on the keyboard and then click on the selected areas.
Note that in the box select mode, if the box is dragged to the right, it selects the components uh, that are completely inside the box. But if it is to the left, it selects all the components that it touches. You can rotate the geometry in any direction you want. To do this, select the rotate tool and then hold the left mouse button and drag on the screen in any direction you want. You can also do this to move the geometry in different directions. This time select the pen tool and uh, hold the left mouse button as uh, in the previous step and drag on the screen in any direction you want. Use the zoom tool to zoom in and zoom out. Select the tool and then drag up and down on the screen. If you drag up, it zooms in and if you drag down, it zooms out. With the zoom box tool, you can zoom in on a specific area of the geometry. To do this, select the tool and then drag the box around the area you want. With the zoom fit tool, you can fit the geometry on the screen and eliminate the effect of zoom in and zoom out. By clicking on the isometric tools, you can uh, change the current view to isometric view. Also, you can do it uh, by clicking on this blue bar. Another possibility is to make a cut on the desired area of the geometry. To do this, select the section plane tool and drag on the desired area of the geometry. As you can see, the geometry is cut. In the corresponding window, you can see all the cuts you have made. And uh, you can enable or disable them. With these tools, you can set whether the axes, model, and points are displayed or not. Select the custom surface of the model, then click on the tool shown. Uh, this will make your uh, view perpendicular to the selected surface. To save the screen picture, click on the camera icon and then uh, in this window, uh, choose the direction to save the picture in that and uh, set the name and uh, select the format for the pictures, then click on the save. And the last thing that I want to teach you in this chapter is the control comments mouse actually by left clicking on the screen you can select and uh, by right clicking on the screen you can open the menu also uh, by scrolling the middle mouse you can zoom in and zoom out by holding the middle mouse and uh, dragging on the screen, you can rotate the model. Also, uh, by holding the uh, control button on the keyboard and uh, the middle mouse at the same time, uh, you can move the model. Uh, it is like the pan tool.